Pray you will be teacher's pet to escape the test of the great tribulation to come, a dream Elizabeth had on 11-12-07. This dream came on the 11th day of a fast. I hope it encourages the holy. Feel free to copy and share with others. Elizabeth's comments. Although I am the one in the dream depicted as the teacher's pet, a favorite of the teacher who of course is Yahushua HaMashiach, I merely stand for all the children of Yahushua who follow and obey him wherever he goes. Dream. I was in a large classroom taking a test. Everyone was nervous about the test, including me, but the teacher didn't want me to be nervous. So he said that I could get out of my seat and I could take the test following him wherever he went in the room, and so I did. Everybody else had to remain seated and they were full of stress, but I got to do whatever I wanted to do because I was following the teacher and he was pleased with me. Growing up as a child, my best friend's name was Shirley. In reality, she was a teacher's pet and she made straight A's in school and she got to do whatever she wanted to do. Later in life, after I became a born again, I met Shirley again and tried to become friends with her. Her married name then was Shirley Wright. But we didn't have anything in common because I was born again and Holy Spirit filled. When I told Shirley that I had the gift of the Holy Spirit of speaking in tongues, Shirley told me that that was no big deal, that she had always had that because that she came from another planet. She tried to tell me about that other planet, but I thought she was crazy and didn't listen. Shirley had also been into witchcraft. When I found that out, I didn't want to have anything to do with her anymore. Shirley Wright was surely wrong. Back to the dream, Shirley said, I'm not going to sit here in this seat. And she got up and she tried to take her test wherever she wanted to go. But she wasn't following the teacher. It was doing whatever she wanted to do. When the teacher saw her, he shouted at her, Go back and take your seat, she said. I want to do what Elizabeth's doing. She doesn't have to stay in her seat to take the test. The teacher looked at her sternly as everybody's eyes were watching and said, You are not like Elizabeth. Shirley was forced to sit back down. I just kept following the teacher wherever he went, and there was no stress to the test. End of dream. Discernment. The test is actually the great tribulation. The seats, desks represent the world. Shirley is of the world, following another master. She will be in the great tribulation. She will not be spared when the hour of testing comes. I, Elizabeth, represent all those who love, obey, and serve Yahushua. And that means living holy and all who follow Yahushua HaMashiach, the only true rabbi and the greatest teacher. There's no stress worrying about facing the test of the great tribulation for the bride of Yahushua because the bride follows him wherever he goes and we will follow him to heaven. We will be called out of the seat of this world and this dream was given to me to encourage the holy who have been disappointed when others like Shelby Corbett, Chu Thomas, and Kenneth Copeland among others give dates for the rapture and it does not come to pass. Satan wants us to lose the blessed hope that Yahushua will come again. This is why the scriptures say how few will still have faith. Watch and wait as we are commanded in the scriptures. Yahushua will come for his bride and the guests who will be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Remember the audible word of Yahweh given to me many years ago that are posted? First one rapture, the first fruit rapture of 144,000 is in Revelation 14. And another for those that I love, the Revelation 7 bride taken up with the two witnesses when they are resurrected at mid-tribulation along with the dead who were martyred at that time. The dead in Yahushua shall rise first, along with those who are alive and holy will be caught up to meet Yahushua HaMashiach in the air. Please do not be discouraged and lose faith. Yahushua is coming again, but it will be by no man or woman's calculated time, only Yahweh's timing. There will be a cry that rings out, Prepare yourself, the bridegroom doth come. And I have been assured the bride of Yahushua will hear that cry ring out, Prepare yourself, the bridegroom doth come. The mystery is in the parable of the ten virgins. Revelation 3.10 because you have kept my commandments to persevere, I will keep you safe in the time of trial which is coming for the whole world to put the people of the, t of the world to the test. I am coming soon. Hold firmly to what you already have and let no one take your victory's crown away from you. Anyone who proves victorious, I will make it to a pillar in the sanctuary of my Yah God and it will stay there forever. The new Jerusalem which is coming down from my God in heaven and my own new name as well. Let anyone who can hear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. 
please read all of Revelation 3, 7 to 13. Shirley has the spirit of Jezebel, and she had psychic abilities, but she was no prophet. Luke 21, 36, therefore be watchful all the time, praying that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will happen, and to stand before the Son of Yah God.